everyone it's Tana welcome back to the channel and another video for the Scrappy Tales crafts. Today I'm using the Countdown to Christmas Advent Calendar Cube add-on and the accompanying stamp set and then the incentive stamp set and actually I'm going to show you the cube add-on die at the end but I don't get a chance to use it mainly because it's meant to go with the birdhouse uh, dies that make the birdhouse cards and I don't have that and my idea for the cube add-on didn't work out so I have three quick and easy Christmas cards for you today so first I'm taking the word Christmas and the snowflake from the stamp set that goes with the advent calendar cube add-on and I'm just using clear embossing powder and that powder tool you saw me use at the beginning is a new uh, powder tool from the rabbit hole designs used for you know like you use your anti-static bag and is by far the best anti-static tool I've used so far for embossing heat embossing so I'm now stamping out on the second panel the tree from the, in the you know, number tree from the incentive stamp set and I did that with the Deck the Halls ink from Catherine Pooler and went over it with clear embossing powder. I then did the star in yellow and then I'm using cranberry fizz for the words countdown to Christmas. Now I worked very hard to make that star yellow and I even discovered that the star inside of the incentive stamp or the stamp set that goes with the cube add-on fits inside of that larger star from the incentive stamp set but we end up covering it up at the end because I didn't like the yellow with the red and green anyway moving on I'm now taking the pine needles and I believe that's candied apple I know I had the names up on the screen for you and I'm ink blending red and green stripes alternating down my panel and I'm not going to show the blending between colors, but I did blend it to make sure that it had some seamless blending there. It doesn't look like solid lines, which is a little bit hard to do with red and green, but I did do it. Just make sure you don't over blend it, because then you'll muddy up your colors depending on what you use. And now we're going to use some ink smushing on that second panel. And I have three reds here, Festive Berries, Candied Apple, and Barn Door. And I don't know, I kind of feel like I should have left it the way it was after the first color. Let me know what you think in the description box below. I did end up trimming it down anyway for the final card. But I don't know, sometimes with ink smushing, you don't always get what you want. So anyway, now I'm going to use Imagine Crafts Sparkle spray and frost spray on both of those panels and I'm going to make sure I heat set them and then I do that on that second panel as well I think I just said on both those panels but anyway and now we're gonna work on the third panel so I'm using the Catherine Puller inks again daydream and skylight I'm using the skylight first and I'm working out from the center of the panel and then I'm going to go around all the edges with the darker color, which is Daydream. And these cards really were fairly simple and fast to put together. So if you wanted to mass produce Christmas cards, I would definitely keep some of these ideas in mind. You don't necessarily have to use these exact stamp sets. But I wanted to show you that even with a tiny stamp set, you can come up with a card. So we're going to use that tree again. And we're going to put Countdown to Christmas at the bottom instead of splitting it up. And we're going to put the star at the top. Now I'm going to use my Duo Transfer Gel for this. And I, you can thank uh, Jennifer McGuire for this. I keep wondering how I can use my stamps for foiling when I don't have any of that special uh, toner ink or anything like that. And it never occurred to me to use the Transfer Gel. Now with the Transfer Duo, Duo Gel you can uh, either run it through your die cutting machine or use heat through a uh, my mind's running a blank I'll think of it don't worry you guys know how I am 
So I did this actually three times. I think it was a little bit much. Uh, I did let it dry, but I think twice would have been enough with the transfer gel, stamping it out twice. And I didn't put a ton on there, you guys saw. I put an amount on my mat and just dabbed with the sponge dabber from that. And then I ran it through with gold foil through my laminator. That's what it is, guys, a laminator. After the gel was dry and came up with my image. So for that first panel, we're going to use a green card base and then a red mat and then a smaller green mat. And then we're going to pop up that center panel on foam tape. The ink smushed panel, I should say. Add a little bit of glue to that foam tape and pop that right in the center of the card. And we'll go back to embellishments later. For the second panel, the ink blended one with the heat embossed snowflake and word Christmas. We're going to pop that up on foam tape and just put it on a red card base. And I'm going to, I got this word, die cut word joy from Michaels, I believe. It came with a stamp set. I stamped that out, or I die cut that, I'm sorry, out of uh, Inca Gold mirrored cardstock from Tonic. And I believe it's iridescent mirrored cardstock. And then put two pieces of 120 pound cardstock behind it. And don't forget your tittle. And now it's time to embellish. That last one with the foiled tree, I glued it straight to a black panel. So I used tiny iridescent uh, gems on that first card. And I'm using six halfback pearls on that second card with a mirrored star covering up the yellow star and then I'm also using a mirrored star which are from Tim Holtz I believe uh, and this the top of this tree as well and then I used white gems in the middle of those snowflakes and I'm going to show you this cube real quick now these were really easy to put together so the idea is you use this longer rectangle and you can put like days till Christmas, days till spring, days till Thanksgiving or Halloween. There's four sides to it, of course. And then you would make two cubes. I only made one, but you can make two to put your numbers on. And then you would insert them into the birdhouse. And you would be able to change the number of days to count down to Christmas. There's also this little piece here I'm showing you that you can use inside behind your doors for the advent calendar as like a slot to stick like little notes in. It's like a miniature gift card slot. So I'm just showing you how you would glue that to the panel. And it's a shame I didn't get to use it for this video. And I'm sad to say that this will be my last video for Scrappy Tales Crafts for now because I have a lot going on. But don't count me down. You may see me in another Scrappy Tales video when everything is settled. So here are the pictures of the cards. I hope you guys liked everything you saw today. Don't forget to check out Scrappy Tales Crafts on Instagram and follow the design team for lots of inspiration. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye for now.